Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of Big Frog Shop Local All the Way broadcast. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, so if you don't know, and you should know, uh, the Shop Local campaign is really focused on driving awareness to our local small businesses. Big Frog is a big supporter of our community members, and especially during COVID, most of our stores reached out and helped any way they could to support our local small businesses. So what we're asking you to do is nominate your favorite small local business at... What is it? What's the website? Bigfrog.com slash shop local. Uh, so go there, nominate your favorite local small business, and you get a free t-shirt at your local Big Frog store. Plus, that local small business has the opportunity to win $100 worth of branded gear to help promote their business. So shop local, support local, and nominate your favorite small, small business. So today we'll be featuring our big frog of Raleigh North store and the owners, Kyle and Keith Perkins. There they are. Hey guys. Okay. I'm Can you hear me? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> How are you? So far so good for a Thursday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good. I'm glad it's Christmas. We're going to be happy. <laughs> so, yes. I'm very busy. Uh, so uh so as people are watching this please uh drop any comments say hi to kyle and keat uh and you are eligible to possibly receive a free t-shirt from big frog of raleigh north so please mm -hmm. send out your warm wishes say hi to the small businesses today we would appreciate it so kyle and key why don't you tell us about your journey to owning a big frog store well it's been a very eventful three years <laughs> um, we got into this mainly because we had prior businesses before and we got very almost too involved and didn't really know how to grow the business. So we got into it because we wanted to work on the business, not in the business. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the reason why we did this. We got into an industry we knew nothing about, so we couldn't take it over. And we hired a staff, brought them on, trained them, had them running the store. We're, uh, out there in the community, getting involved, learning new connections and names, and basically learning something new every day. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is we both knew we didn't really want the typical corporate job. Um, pretty much when we graduated college, we started off as black tech dealers. Then we spent mm -hmm. two years overseas in Japan teaching English there. And when we came back, we wanted to start a business. And then we looked into franchising and we were kind of directed towards Big Frog. We ended up liking the model. The fact that there was a lot of technology for Kyle mm -hmm. to get his hands on and me to still be creative. And it kind of fit both of us at the same time. So yeah. it worked out really good. Really good fit. Really good fit, yeah. Yeah, and what you'll find Kyle and Keith at a lot of festivals. I love seeing your festival picks, so you can <laughs> find them around town. <laughs> So why don't we talk about, you know, franchising, even though you buy a franchise, there's still a lot of challenges, you know, to running your own business. Do you want to chat about uh, challenges you found along the way? I think some of the biggest challenges, like I worked at McDonald's kind of as a frontline employee, and we know that they're franchised. Their stuff is very prescriptive, very by the book. So all the stores are the same. Big Frog is similar in a way. But the rest of the challenges come from the fact that it's not really a home, you know, a brand that you would bring up at home. So there's still a lot as a business owner that we have to do to get it out. There. We didn't buy into a system that everybody knows. So it's nice still having to be an owner and still having to build the brand yourself, at least on our end. Being able to discover the process is part mm -hmm. of the challenge, but also part of the reward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, it's, overall, yeah. And, and overall, one of the, the things that really drew us to Big Frog was the fact that any other place that you you know buy in, such as if you were to go to McDonald's or Zaxby's or anything else, mm -hmm. they have their way of doing things. One of the things that we liked about Big Frog is that they, I mean, headquarters has their way of doing things, but beyond that, it's pretty much up to you to figure out the way that works for you. And I appreciate the fact that headquarters does listen, does have an open ear and has ideas and suggestions, feedback with the peer group calls and just getting all the owners together to basically make it better for everyone. And that's one of the, the real joys of 
of working with a big dog and having the headquarters be part of the management. And I still think one of the challenges is just trying to figure everything out. Being in an industry, we don't know that much. I mean, everyone wears clothes, but how much do you actually know about the decorating and getting the products and all of that? So that's probably been a huge challenge and figuring out the right employees. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's probably definitely the hardest is finding the right people to help you in the store. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And uh, when we talk to Alex here in a minute, we can chat about challenges of hiring in this market, too. Um, for sure. Yes. We're, all, we're all feeling that. <laughs> um, so what so you guys, you know, your business has really picked up this year. Uh, what marketing tactics have you found to be the most successful for you guys in your market? Mm -hmm. Honestly, community involvement has been our biggest impact. I mean, we've mm -hmm. tried mailers, we've tried postcards, we've tried sending out things, and nothing really comes back. But the more people see you, the more people know you, the more connections you have, the more they're going to think about you, and you're going to be at the top of their mind when they need things such as one to two garments or a custom hat or a koozie or, or anything like that versus you know any of these online stores or big gigantic warehouse companies. Mm -hmm. And so just being involved in the community, making sure that you have the connections and then the network to basically get your knowledge and experience from it has really been the biggest benefit. Just yeah. making sure that you're involved with the schools, making sure that the company owners know you, that the employees know you, that anything you're doing to help out the community really gets you out there. And mm -hmm. that has definitely been a our biggest uh, focus and biggest impact. Yeah. I think having good SEO has been a big impact as well. Shout out to me. <laughs> that, that big shout out to me for a lot of that. Yeah. But um, that's been helpful. I've gotten a couple of comments from people being like, oh, I actually see that you interact with your Google reviews. Mm -hmm. Like that one's been good. And so honestly, important. I think the biggest marketing has actually been our cheerleaders which has mostly been family, honestly. <laughs> well, family and customers that are very satisfied with their services. Yeah. So yeah, definitely having them to be there and tell people, you know, this is where I got it. They were great. They were wonderful. And that these people come in, you know, that's been another big help is happy customers. Yeah. I mean, I can't tell you how many customers you hear us sent us just because we have done such great stuff with them. Yes. Oh, good, good. And I do love all your Instagram posts. So if you haven't checked out their Instagram uh, postings, I would do that too. Always nice to have that going on. Yeah. <laughs> all the stuff. <laughs> um, so I thought we would bring in Alex Strickler now, Marketing and Hiring Manager of North State Medical Transport. There he is. Hey, Alex, thanks for joining us. Oh, we can't hear you. Everybody's muted. There we go. Okay, hey. perfect. There you go. Yeah, thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. We appreciate you being here. Um, so I thought maybe you could tell us a little bit about your business. I checked you out online and uh it was not not ironic, but I have a cousin who just needed a double lung transplant and used a similar service. So oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh again, my name is Alex. I'm with North State Medical Transport and uh, what we are are a healthcare agency based in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um traditionally we have focused on ambulance transport um and for two levels of service, ALS and DLS. Um but what we've recently started doing is a really exciting brand new innovative uh, mobile integrated healthcare program, which is really exciting where essentially the hospital gets brought to the patient. And, and what's really cool is we started in 2004 um, by three local paramedics who helped transport people to the hospital and they saw a need that the citizens and community members uh, needed help to get back home from the hospitals. And it's, it's just a small one ambulance, one county local service, and we've grown to a pretty large regional service, and then you hope to, to do a lot more from that. And so 17 years, we've had a lot of growth and have relied on a lot of people to help us get where we are, um, but it's definitely a, been a, a good place to be since I've been here. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, uh, your growth, um, and a really great concept. Um, can you share any moments uh, that when your business, you know, like we're all here to support community. What have you guys done that you're especially proud of in supporting the community? 
Yeah, so by far, my favorite thing that we do every single year is around Christmas time is, is we actually do a really fun event where, where a, a lot of our team members will all go out and get breakfast together, but we'll actually do a, a holiday shopping um, thing where we will um, break up into team members and by age range and, and genders, and, and we'll buy all kinds of um, Christmas gifts that we'll then donate to a, a community that, that's in need. Uh -huh. um, and so that is by far my favorite thing that we get to do, being able to, I, I'm the one that helps get to drop them off to every location and, and been doing it for about three or four years where I've been directly involved. And, and it's, it's one of the, the most fun days to be able to see these organizations with, you know, uh, you know, uh, an entire ambulance full of, of toys being dropped off to them is, is really something that, that can, can get you through a, a year for sure. So that's actually getting ready to come up here in, in a few weeks. So we're really excited to be able to do that again. Oh, that's amazing. That's not, I love that. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you don't mind, what what do you think are the critical things that can make or break a business in general, or, or yours in particular? Sure. I think the biggest thing is probably support, and it comes both internally and externally. Um, you know, the last two years have been difficult for everybody, and especially within healthcare, uh, it's been hard, and, and it's tested a lot, a lot of people, especially our direct clinical providers. Um, and so it, it really takes a team to be able to have success and and you know it's not just a single person that is what drives uh, an organization to, to be successful you know it's definitely that collaborative effort um and it, it might sound uh corny but to bring in big frog i mean we have relied on them to, to help out you know we it's been difficult for, for things where we've you know taking care of patients dealing in, in, in a global pandemic, the last thing that I need to be worrying about is, hey, do, do my people have shirts and so and, and uniform supplies? So they make the process really easy. All, all I do is a quick little email or phone call and, and they take care of everything, even in you know global shipping crises where it's hard to even find things. You're like, hey, we can do this instead. We do this. So they make it as easy as possible. That way we can oh, focus good. on what our job actually is. Um, so it's it support, like I said, it's internally and externally and without people supporting you and, and everyone working together as a team, um, you know, we wouldn't have been around for the first 17 years like we've been, and we wouldn't have so many exciting things happening without so many people working together and, and coming together for the common goal that we have, which is compassion, pride, respect. Oh, that's awesome. And it's good to hear Kyle and Keith are taking good care of you. Absolutely. <laughs> so I have to ask you, as I'm trying to hire, what are your hiring tips in this market? Yeah, um, that, it's it's an uphill <laughs> battle, um, especially within a, a niche market that, that I have hiring for EMTs and paramedics. And I think the best thing that, that I can do as a hiring manager in recruiting is just to show off the culture. It's it's a it's a very uh, something we've definitely focused on to to make our culture be what really drives people here, and that's why people want to stay here. And so the the more I can do to almost sell the company and, and, and what it's like to be here and why you'd want to be here it is the best. Um, and, and so it's really just those one-on-one -on -one interactions. So go into these community colleges where EMT courses are happening mm -hmm. to talk to these students say, hey, this is why we're a great place. This is what, why we're a great place to learn how to be an EMT and whether they want to go to med school, nursing school, be a paramedic, whatever they want to do in life, we're the place that can provide the ultimate foundation where they, can, they themselves can build themselves up from. And so just really, you know, trying to sell the, the culture and what it is has, has been the most successful uh, thing for me uh, when what is, you know, it's always hard to hire, you know, good talent and, and great people, um, especially, you know, in the last two years, it, it makes it even harder. All right. Active recruitment it is. So yep. thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate the help there. All right. Well, uh, that's uh, it for Alex. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with uh, Big Frog. And please keep uh, North State Medical Transport in mind. If you hopefully you don't need it, but if you do, reach <laughs> out to Alex. Yep. <laughs> that, so, that's the joke we always make. I, I never want to see someone, but if you do need us, we are always yes. There we're help. here. We got oh, your back. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, yeah. Alex. Bye. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> awesome. So uh, next we have Shahira Yusuf uh, from Faces Clothing Company. Hey guys. Hi, hey, thank you for joining hey. us today. Thank you, thank you. I love your website and I was bummed to see all the Halloween gear was out of stock, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, really those, cool those went pretty fast. <laughs> Very cool. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? 
Um, so I am she here. Uh, I'm a graphic designer and the CEO and creative director of Faces. Um, a couple of friends and I founded the brand uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, so I've been doing like freelance graphic design and completely self-taught for about four or five years now. And we kind of just like got together one day and we were like, what's the next step we can take in this? And we wanted to kind of just take a shot at the clothing brand and it kind of started to take off. So we've continued to run with it. Okay, awesome. Um, I see. Do you? How do you sell? How do you get the word out? Um, so our biggest thing, honestly, is just like marketing to people that we know. So you know, okay. like just connecting with people, being like, "Hey, like this is our brand. You should just check it out," and kind of like forming a connection with them and getting them to be a part of the brand, making it more than a brand, and like essentially a community and a movement, and kind of making it feel like you're a part of something bigger. Um, because like it's really starting to spread. I'm a student also here at NC State. So it's really mm -hmm. starting to like spread on campus and it's cool to like people recognize each other. They're like, oh, you're wearing a Faces shirt. And like, I, I know who owns that. So it's it's really <laughs> neat to like network people and kind of spread, spread it like that. That is neat. I remember the first time I saw someone wear one of my shirts when I had a store and I was like, that, I printed that shirt. That's my yeah. shirt. I'm awesome. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, it's awesome. And like when we first went to Big Frog and got the like our first big order of shirts, like just that feeling of like opening the box and having all these shirts that like we made is, is, is just awesome to have. And then seeing it like on people walking around campus. is even Yeah, awesome. random people you don't know. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome. Um, can you uh, share anything about a time maybe when you gave back to the community and since we're here to shop local and support? Yeah, so a big part of our brand right now is working with like local music festivals. Uh, so we had one earlier in August that we uh, vended at in uh, Durham Central Park. And so when we work with these festivals, we uh, like give back to them by helping them do stuff like their marketing, their promotion, and then even like designing merch for them. So in Halloween, we were at a uh, festival in Wake Forest called Halloween in the Carolinas. And so we designed merch for them and then like handed out free merch at the show um, just like throughout the day. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Um, so in terms of as you're growing, um, what are the critical things that you found that could make or break your business as a small business owner? So uh, I really agree with Alex, what he said about like having a team. It's impossible to do something of this scale like by yourself because I originally did come into this by myself. Like I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start a brand. Like I'm, I've already got the design stuff down, but especially me being a creative person, like it's essential to build a team around you so that one, you have like different opinions, different viewpoints, and everybody can kind of check themselves and then uh, another like big thing is having passion because that's really what gets you through like the tough parts like if you everybody you know anybody can just start printing shirts and try to sell it but if you don't have the passion to stick with it when like there's tough times and it's really not going to work out mm -hmm. so as someone who is a very bad designer but still attempts it how do you design do you do it freehand or what are you using uh software just it curious. really depends from design to design. So I mainly use Photoshop and Procreate on my iPad. Um, so it, it really does depend on like what we're going for, what kind of vibe or aesthetic. Um, I use Procreate mostly for like drawing and stuff. And then if mm -hmm. it's more like digital collages or pictures, stuff related to that, it's Photoshop based. Okay. I love your designs, the colors and the, it just, they turn out great. I just, I was, I was bummed. I'm like, oh, I love Halloween stuff. <laughs> None of it's in stock. <laughs> Kyle, can you get on that? <laughs> yeah, they, they did an amazing job with the printing. They always do. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, anything else you want to share before I let you go? Um, no, that's, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. Well, make sure you go check out his website. Very cool stuff. Very creative. Um, I wish you the best of luck uh, launching your brand. And I'll say I knew you win. So I'm excited. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I see you. Awesome. All right. You really definitely check out his website when you can. It's very neat stuff. His All right. So, really good. Huh? I was saying his Instagram, his marketing is really good. Oh, I'll, I'll look at his Instagram too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
All right. <laughs> so uh, don't forget, drop a comment um, anywhere you're watching this and you could win a free t-shirt from Kyle and Keith. And so far you've heard ringing endorsements of their products. So you should definitely do that. All right. So, and last but not least, oh, we, please, have Rand yeah. oh, we have Randy Kerr here, uh, owner and manager of Keith's store. Thank you for joining us today. Hello. Thank you for having me. I, I checked out your website too today. I love the apple cart wall or apple crate wall. Sorry. That is such a cool concept. Um, what a great way to support local artists and uh, I, I would call them artisans. I think that's the right thing to call it. So absolutely, love, I love that. Why don't, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your business? So Keith store has been a staple in the Wake Forest Wakefield area since 1931. Um, it's got an awesome history. You can read about it on our Facebook page or our website. Um, it had kind of fallen into disrepair over the last couple of years uh, after the man who had been running it, Jimmy Keith, passed away. And the family was no longer able to keep it going. So I worked out a deal with them to take it over and purchase the property and try and revive it and make it what it once was a big part of the community. Awesome. How's that going? It's been challenging because, you know, I bought a store in the middle of COVID, but, COVID. <laughs> uh, you know, I knew what I was getting into when I took it over and I was ready for the challenge. And luckily, uh, myself, my team and my family were in a position where we could try and take this challenge on. And um, we've come a long way in almost exactly a year. And the store is amazing now. Awesome. Um, so I'm going off script a little bit. I was curious what your most unique product you carry is. Hmm. So <laughs> we keep a chain, like things tend to change up there depending on who we have um, renting spaces from us or um, who we're getting products from at the time. Let's see. Right now we have these really cool uh, North Carolina okra or North Carolina grown okra that are painted and turned into Santa Clauses and their decorations oh. for the Christmas tree. So it's that's something cool. that's really unique <laughs> to this area. I've never seen it anywhere else. Oh. Yeah, the, if you don't know, uh, the Apple Crate wall, you can rent them, right, by the month and put your product in. And he, you don't take any commissions out of it. It's just an opportunity to showcase your goods there. It's, I, lo I just love that idea. It's just so you cool. Know, I've started a lot of companies and like, trying to figure out where to go to find resources or just even where to start or how to showcase your items without it costing you a fortune, you know, it's, it's tough. So we wanted to provide that opportunity for um, local people just starting out. Mm -hmm. No, it's awesome. Uh, so why don't you tell me a little bit about a time where maybe you helped support the community or gave back? So we, um, we own a couple companies and so I'll speak off my experience for all of them together. But uh, so GCS is our construction company and we do an annual fundraiser. We started it during COVID. Um, we saw an opportunity to help our community when it was really struggling and also bring the business owners together so that we could try and figure this all out together because we weren't getting any support from up top. It felt like at times, mm -hmm. so we needed to figure out how to navigate all this craziness and it's so hard by yourself. So, you know, as we pulled a bunch of businesses together and uh, along the way, we came up with this idea to um, do a fundraiser where we um, provide a hot lunch for all the first responders in Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. We've provided it for teachers um and you know it's we've done it two years now so there's been a lot of people that have received meals out of that as well as just um people that live in the community that needed meals we were able to provide some too we also raised uh over ten thousand dollars to donate to the boys and girls club of wake forest in the last two years and we were able to do that with all our awesome sponsors um so many of them keat and kyle helped us out big time they donated I guess uh, they donated thousands of dollars of shirts over the last two years for all of our volunteers and all of our sponsors. Um, 
So we just have a whole lot of awesome partners like them to pull it all together. Um, so wow. that's the biggest thing that we've done. And then the store itself, you know, we're trying to build something for the community. Um, we do a lot of different things up there. We have a lot of events. We're near a park. We're near ho- houses. And we're just trying to, you know, it's always been a community hangout. And it's kind of lost that in the last few years. So mm. we're doing this really more for the community than we're doing for ourselves. That's awesome. Um, and I'm going to ask you what I asked everybody else. Uh, what's What do you think one of the most critical things is that can make or break your business? Your network. Um, and that can be, you know, I that's how I've managed to create all my businesses is from a network. I haven't done anything by myself. You know, I will. I definitely don't know how to do everything. My ideas are not always the best. And without having the people to have around me that I can trust to be honest with me and um, tell me yay or nay. And then also people that I can go to for support in different things, whether it's buying t-shirts or advertising or, you know, just questions about how they overcame something like without a network, like none of that's possible. Um, and then you have your internal network. Your team is the other most important thing. You know, I have an amazing team at all my companies. Like I couldn't do it without them. That's great. And the team, it's so true. A team can easily break you if you don't have the right people supporting you. Um, so you've had a lot of different hats, right? You've owned a lot of different small businesses. What challenges, uh, have you overcome, you know, and you can talk about Keith's store, or one of your other businesses, if you like, what challenges have you mastered and overcome? <laughs> I don't know if I've mastered any of them, but, <laughs> um, you know, you gotta be creative. You gotta be flexible. Um, those are two big things. You know, I have ideas all the time. They're not always good ideas. Some of them I run with, some of them I don't, but you know, I can have a really good idea and things just aren't working out and you got to kind of pivot. You got to figure out a different direction. You can keep the same idea, just find another way to do it. Um, You know, same with growing and financing stuff like that's really hard as a small business, especially when you're trying to establish yourself. You know, nobody wants to give you money until you can show so much income, but you can't show income until you get money. It's the same old thing that everybody gets stuck in. So sometimes mm-hmm. you have to get really creative. You know, I, I tell people a lot, if I had, if I had a dollar for every people I, or every person that told me no, when I asked them for a hundred thousand dollars, I'd be rich, you know, cause <laughs> like, and that's what it takes. I'm not afraid to be told no ever. It doesn't discourage me. To me, no doesn't mean no. It means not right now. Find another way. And it's just that persistence. And, you know, if something's the other thing I've learned um, that's helped me a lot, if something feels really forced, it's not the right direction. Mm -hmm. So if things aren't falling into place, you know, give it your all. But if things aren't falling into place, then you might want to step back and rethink it because it might not be the right time. It might not be the right idea. Like there's a reason it's not working out. Mm, That's all very good advice. I think that's similar persistence and not being afraid to hear no is I think every small business owner's best friend there because you're always going to hear no at some point, but don't take it personally. Keep trying. So that's, Mm -hmm. that's great advice for sure. Uh, any final thoughts there, Randy or Kyle and Keith, anything you'd like to say to Randy? I I appreciate y'all doing this. Um, shop local is super important. It's something that we've really been focusing on and there's, um, you guys are doing a great job with it. There's so many other local, uh, groups that are also, you know, pushing for it. Like, you know, there's so many resources out there for the small businesses. It's very important to support these type of movements. Mm. Absolutely. Totally agree. All right. Well, excellent. We're, we're on the same page, Randy. (laughs) So thank you for joining us very much. Please check out Keith's store. I wish I could, but it's a little far for me to get there today. So uh, everybody support uh, Randy at Keith's store. Thank you.
All right, Kyle and Keith, any final thoughts? Just the idea of shopping local is always at the forefront of our minds. We always want to make sure that anyone that does purchase from us does know that you are supporting a local business and we want to do the same thing and reciprocate. It's like, yeah, you can buy from Amazon, but Amazon won't support your local softball team. And that's where we are. It's like, we want to help out the community and you can't do that better than by shopping local. And that's one, that's definitely one thing we appreciate and have learned and will continue to do as long as we're here. And don't forget, every time you shop local, we're all in the back doing a little happy dance. <laughs> all right. I think you have to show us the happy dance now. You threw it out there. It is not a fun happy dance. <laughs> just laid out on the ground, just like dying because it's a good sale. <laughs> all right. Next time. Next time. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you both for being here. Remember, nominate a local small business at bigfrog.com slash shop local or use the QR code on the screen. Uh, please support local, support your local businesses. It helps your community. Uh, thank you for joining us today and we'll talk again next week.